Hey, this is John. First off, thanks to Chlorinated Water Supply and George in particular for coming out on a super cold morning to fill the rink. This is the second year that I've used a water truck to have water delivered to fill the rink. Uh, it takes a lot less time, uh, you know, minutes versus hours. I could have been out there all day with the hose filling it up when it was below zero, but instead, you know, we had it filled up in just about uh, 20, 30 minutes. Water truck brings 5,200 gallons of water. Water comes out at about 55 degrees. So you can see that's why we had a lot of steam. The water from the truck gets you most of the way there, but then I had to top it off with water from the house. So I got the hose out, uh, put it in my liner tube, which is a tip that I learned this year from the backyard rinks group and ran that for a couple hours to top it off to get to the required depth. While that was going, I got the kick plates out and the bumper caps from the nice ring kit and set those in. Uh, you might be able to see here that I'm using the little excess piece of foam that I saved the first year when I had to trim the bumper caps to hold the kick plates in place while I put the uh, full piece in. So if you're doing this by yourself, it's like having an extra hand. So make sure you keep that piece around if you have any extra. Once the bumper caps are on, then I go around and trim all the excess liner off, clean it up, and then we wait for it to freeze. <laughs> 